Hi, this is Rob Heppel from FuneralGurus.com, and today I'm with Francine Ross Roden. Francine, welcome to Funeral Gurus. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, we're here at the New York State um, Funeral Directors Association Convention in um, Bolton Landing, New York, right. upstate New York, just outside of um, Albany. And uh, Francine, we were just chatting a little bit earlier, and, and you were telling me about how the flexibility that you offer your families when making arrangements, how that really helps. So maybe if you could elaborate on that, but first uh, maybe introduce yourself and talk a little bit about your funeral home. Okay, my name is Francine Ross Roden. I've been a licensed funeral director in New York State, licensed funeral director and embalmer for New York State for over 16 years. Um, I am in the Bronx, located at 725 Gun Hill Road, and um, I've been known to be flexible, or I am flexible, serving my families, and that I want to make sure they're at their most comfortable. I offer if they want to go to the house and make the arrangements and have the family members there. And sometimes families are taken, or most times they're taken aback by that because they feel that they always have to go to the funeral home. But the funeral home, when they have to come back, is usually a reminder for them and could be an unpleasant reminder no matter how beautiful the facility is. Mm -hmm. Because what they remembered is that they've lost their loved one mm -hmm. and they, you don't want them to associate a place with a bad memory. You want to make sure that they're as comfortable as possible. Now, there are times where I do have the family come to the funeral home if they're out of town, out of state, and they want to meet there instead of having everyone congregate at the house mm -hmm. because as we understand in a time like this people will just come unannounced <laughs> to show up That's right. and when you're trying to conduct business then you may be seen as rude to go into another room to do so so when my families contact me I say okay what I'm going to do is usually make my arrangements in the evening time and the reason for that is because most calls come in the morning the morning time you kind of give the family some sort of directive or direction in what they should do sit down and discuss exactly what it is that you would like to do to honor your loved one you may even have to discuss money issues and or budget which mm -hmm. is strongly advised mm -hmm. and then I ask you to get certain information together so that when I come in then it runs smoothly because you've been prepared for that um, most of the information is on my website at www.rossroden.com. And I talk about the catering that I do. I also have online obituaries and online register books okay. so that anyone in the world can send their condolences, sympathies to the family via the website. Mm -hmm. And it will also go directly to their email address or the email address that they provide for me. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. Well, it sounds that, you know, you're just, um, you know, kind of taking that next step and really catering to, to the families. And, you know, we, in the past, we were always taught to make sure that you bring them into the funeral home. But I think, you know, you hit it right on the nail on the head where if, if we go to where they're, wherever they're most comfortable and, right. and you said you've even made arrangements at restaurants. I and, sure have. And, uh, and that's, you know, if, if we meet them on their level where they're most comfortable, right. they're going to have a more pleasant experience and, right. and think that, um, that you've better served them. And that's, that's what it's all about, right? That is what it's all about. And then unfortunately, I've had to sit in the seat of the family member and I lost my own dad. And that's a couple of years now. And with my mom and my sister, I had to sit down and basically explain what it is that had to be done. The fortunate thing about it was dad had already pre-arranged the funeral with me. Mm -hmm. We met with his minister, we talked about the hymns that he likes, we spoke about what he wants to wear because he, he was terminal. But we even spoke about this before we even knew of his diagnosis. Mm -hmm. um, and that's why I also am a strong advocate for pre-planning. Nobody knows better than you what you would want. Mm -hmm. So why not voice your opinion so that even in our time of demise, we're able to have what we want. And it makes it so much easier because, uh, especially in this, and I'm using my personal example with my dad, my mom was able to cope better during the funeral services, knowing that he had already pre-planned or pre-arranged with me what he wanted. And we did not have to second guess. Mm -hmm. We knew everything right down to the type of casket, uh, right down to the time of the services. I explained to him, gave him options. He says, let's go with this. It'll be easier for people. Mm -hmm. And uh, always make sure your mom is at ease with this. I said, well, she's not going to be. I don't think any of us will mm -hmm. be. He says, I know, but you know, I'm more concerned, of course, with your mom. So we looked at that and it, it helped quite a bit for us. Um, 
and it helps me understand my families better and make sure that they're able to have that type of comfort that is so necessary during a time like this. Well, that's yes. great. Francine, thanks so much for sharing. Thank you for having me. You're Appreciate it. You're Funeral Guru and you're watching FuneralGurus.com. Thank you. Great.